Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle, I'm from Yarn Thrift. If you're new here, I love to do crochet patterns, tutorials, and this is my first ever yarn review. I'm hoping to do more of them. Um, basically what it is, is just giving you an idea of a yarn before you go and buy it, especially when you're buying yarn online, if you wanna see how it works up, um, what the drape is like, things like that. I'm gonna go over that today so that you can check it out before you go and spend your money on it. All the materials I used are gonna be linked in the description box below so that you can grab them. Um, also, before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to Coco Kind. This is not sponsored in any way, but I've been using Coco Kind skin products um, and they've really been helping. They're plant based alternatives, so they don't really contain uh, as many chemicals as some stuff you might find at the drugstore or even higher end cosmetics. So, I've actually been using their salicylic acid replacement serum um, and I love it. It's not salicylic acid, it's all plant based, but I've had this breakout for a week now and I started using that serum a few days ago. They're not red anymore. They're already clearing up. Uh, their eye cream, also great. Um, if you're looking to check out some new skincare products, you can find them in the description below. All right, so let's jump right into this yarn review. Okay, so my first ever yarn review is actually a yarn from Michael, so I have it here. It is their cream cotton yarn. So it looks like this, and it is so soft. So I actually walked around Michael's for 20 minutes probably, looking at all of their yarns, trying to figure out um, which yarn I wanted to review. And I kept coming back to this one because I've just never dealt with a yarn like this before. Cotton yarn normally gets stuck to your hook a little bit. It can be more difficult to work with. Um, it's normally not this soft, but this yarn is so soft. Like I could just sit here petting it. Um, so I really wanted to see how it worked up. It comes in a bunch of colors too, which I really, really loved. And every Michaels I've been to has had it. Um, they have it on their website too. So it's pretty easily available, which I really wanted a yarn that everyone was gonna be able to access for my first tutorial, my first review here, just so that it was easy for anyone to grab if they saw this and they wanted to try it out. So this is what we're going with. Uh, the first thing we're gonna go over is the details of this yarn, like the weight, um, how to wash it, what kind of hook you would need and things like that and how it's made up. So it is 87% cotton and 13% nylon, which I think is nice. It's not um, completely made of cotton and I think maybe the nylon is what helps it be this soft but cotton yarn also I think is very nice for the summer I love making summer garments in cotton yarn um or even like planters and things like that like hanging planters with crochet I think is really great too so they say that this is a medium weight for yarn which I would say it's on the lighter side I would say it's between a weight three and a weight four I did actually use a, a four millimeter hook with the piece that I worked up although it does recommend a six and a half millimeter hook to me six and a half millimeters was way too large for this I felt that the fabric had more gaps in it um, but if you're looking for something with some really good drape and a little bit more open stitching six and a half millimeters uh, a larger hook size would be great for this so it does say not to iron this, which I think that most yarn you should not iron, especially acrylic yarn, it'll melt. Um, and the directions are to hand wash cold, do not bleach, dry flat, do not iron. So unfortunately, this isn't something that you can throw in your washing machine. Um, a lot of yarns do have that, and I think that's really great. Uh, it makes them easier to care for. Um, but this is a hand wash garment. I personally hand wash all of my crocheted and knit garments anyway I just feel that they're going to retain their shape and last longer if I do it that way and I'm more gentle with them um but I know that a lot of people do like to throw them in the washing machine those yarns that they're able to do that with so this is hand wash but that's still fine um you get 324 yards in each skein which I think is really really great I actually did design something with this the pattern is not up yet I have it here to show you and I only needed one skein. I actually needed less than one skein. So I think one goes a long way. I think that's really, really great. Um, and then the color that I picked up is cream, I think, right? Yeah. Yes, it is cream. All right. And so that's just the basic information about the skein of yarn. So I'm going to show you what I did with it and how I got it worked up. So 
So I did design this bralette. The ends are very clearly not weaved in. Um, but here it is. So it's just really, really basic. Um, I actually have a tutorial up for how to make a bra cup for any size. I'll link it below. I just used that same method to do this. And then I did some open stitching along the bottom just to have a really cute, you know, open summer bralette. So I did use a four millimeter hook and you can kind of see, I think this is the perfect stitching for this. There, you can see where the stitches end. There's some gaps, but it's not too tight and it's not too loose. So I think the four millimeter hook was the perfect size um, for this yarn. Like I said, the six and a half millimeter recommendation that's on the label, I think would create a very loose fabric, which for summer can be great for summer cardigans and summer sweaters and things like that. Um, but for a bralette, obviously we want a little bit more coverage, or at least I prefer a little bit more coverage, especially for the bra cut portion of it. But this is how it works up. And you can see like, if I just let it go, um, it does have a pretty good drape for a cotton yarn. Most cotton yarns are a lot more stiff than this. It's super soft to the touch. It feels great to wear against skin. So it's not going to be chafing as you wear it in the summer. Um, and I think that's really, really great. So the pattern will be up for this fairly soon. I have to get it into testing, but it will be released in the summer. And then you'll already be prepared because you will have already seen um, this cotton yarn and potentially pick some up. So that's how it worked out. Um, um, that covers the drape of it and kind of what you can do. Some recommended projects, I think, for this yarn. I would love to do a summer cardigan for this yarn. I think that it's light enough that it's not going to be too hot for the summer, but at the same time, it is so soft. And the drape, like I said, is amazing. I would probably go up a hook size or two from the four millimeter that I did on that bralette just to give it some extra drape um, and some extra breathable texture to let the wind through a little bit. Um, Cause I don't know where all of you live, but where I live, the summers get kind of hot. So I definitely would not want to be wearing something super dense um, in 80 or 90 degree weather or in the hundreds even. So that's my recommendation. That's something I think would be great with this yarn. Um, even a summer tank top would be great. Honestly, any garment. You could use this for a blanket. I, I don't think it's best suited for a blanket. Maybe if you wanted a really light summer blanket, um, but you'd probably need a bunch more yarn for that. I just think this is really great for garments. Um, you could make hanging plant holders. You can make accessories. The thing I will say about that though is because this is such a soft yarn um, and it's very, I don't know how to, not that it stretches necessarily, but just the configuration of the yarn. I don't feel is best suited to an accessory or a hanging planter. I feel that it would be more likely to rip if it had a lot of weight to it. Um, but garments, I think this is great for. And even like here, they show actually a scarf on the label. And I think that that would be great too. Um, if you wanted to do a sarong or a shawl, like a summer wrap, things like that, I think this would be a great yarn to do that with as well. As well. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is the stitch definition, which I will pull this piece out again and kind of give you a bigger look at it. I don't think that this has super high stitch definition. And the only reason I say that is because it is softer. So all of the stitches are kind of like mellowed out by how soft the yarn is. So if you look a little bit closer at the bra cup, you can definitely see my stitches. You can see that they're defined, but there's no harsh um, harsh lines there, unless you're down here. And obviously this has a great definition of, you can see where all the gaps are in the fabric. But I said out of 10, I would probably give this a six or a seven on the stitch definition scale. You can definitely see them. It's definitely there, but it's not sharp. And I also think I like that about that, uh, about this yarn. I don't, I don't think it would look as good if it had super crisp stif stitch definition. Um, I think it just kind of gives it this like cloud-like appearance that it's super soft. 
um, and cozy and comfy. And I think that's really what they were going for too with this because it is called cotton cream yarn and it is creamy. It's really, really soft and buttery and I really love that about this yarn. Overall, um, if I had to give this yarn a rating, I think I would give it a solid seven. And the reason I say that is because cotton yarns, again, I don't know how well this is going to withstand. This pattern was designed a month or two ago. Um, and it's been moved around a lot. And the yarn hasn't been damaged. It hasn't really stretched in an odd way. Um, I blocked it and it blocked perfectly. Nothing was pilling. And, and I really just think it's a comfortable yarn. Um, the only reason it's not getting higher for me is because, again, it's a cotton yarn. And cotton yarn can be... A little bit more difficult to work with um but yeah I just that's that is my honest review of this yarn I really love it though I love that it comes in so many colors there are so many options for this yarn so many things I would love to make with this yarn I'm definitely going to be picking up more in other colors um I don't know if it'll be for the fall or maybe next year summer but I definitely would recommend this. So head to your local Michaels or head to the link below to shop online if you're looking to pick some up or if you're looking to get ready if you really want a new cute bralette for when this pattern comes out. And if you can't wait uh, for a bralette pattern, I actually linked my Heatherette bralette pattern below. That is also a super cute bralette pattern that uses sport weight yarn. Um, a part of me wants to try making it in this yarn to see if it'll fit, if I can gauge it down to that. But that is just a fun summer bralette for you to check out in case you can't wait for this one. So that is all. Um, I hope you enjoyed this yarn review. If you have anything you would love to see in the next yarn review, um, a new topic, if you would love for me to work up a swatch on camera, anything like that, leave it in the comments below and we will make sure to get to it for the next review. Um, all right, make sure to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.